it seems like you guys kind of have people that are over a certain group of people and this is their group of people to keep track of and keep a disciple. And, and so then they're inviting people into that group by just being creative. Is that what you're, that what you're saying? I think what really helps in this season is that our people, like you said, they are all connected to a leader. The groups are tight. They know who are in their group and they really look out for these people. This has become this way because of generations. Uh, so, okay, when I say that word, everybody has a different idea what generations means. You know, when we say generations, some people think that generations is about how someone dies and another person comes to take over. Well, that generations is not that because that is succession. Generations is not succession. Generations is about reinforcements. So what we have done over the last 20 years as we preach about generations is that we have kept raising many, many layers of leaders and nobody is replacing the older ones. We are just keeping the older ones while the younger ones are coming in not to replace them, but to be reinforcements. So we have many, many, many layers of leaders serving God at the same time. And so that has really worked for us in this crisis, the strength of generations has just come through in this crisis because there's a layer of leader looking after the next layer of leader throughout the entire church. Uh, so yeah, so that's what has worked for us. Generations, it just keeps going and going and going. So within generations, we have three to four years gap between every generation. So by God's grace right now, we have about six generations in our midst. And uh, the first generation is, of course, like Pastor Garrett. He was the first pioneer group of young people we have. He's already in his 30s. So the first generation, first layer of leaders we have, they are our senior leaders. They are our pastors, senior leaders. Then it goes all the way back, separated three, four years, three, four years, three, four years. Now we have a sixth generation of youth leaders, and they are 14 years old, 15 years old. So nobody is replacing anybody. We are all still together serving God together, many layers of leaders. So that's what I felt really worked for us. All connected, all leading together. And, and yeah, so that's, that's in answer to your question. Uh, we need to do that in the church. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. so awesome. Well, in closing, <laughs> would, you, would you pray uh, for us uh, in, in our church that we could be as successful in this as you guys with our church and with the empowerment that God has called us to just, we want to catch that same wind, that same Holy spirit, um, you know, and uh, we're, we're ready for it. We're excited for it, but yeah. we, we'd, we'd love your prayers. 